Hi. Hi. And Katie is on a yelling rant today. I don't like know we're sitting over on. there at her at her table and we're having lunch together and she's like screaming at me like I'm across the room. I don't know what happened. She's just excited about life today. <coughs> Doesn't your hair look good? They can't see me. Some can. Five people. I think it looks great. Thank you. And I like that shirt that you picked out too. I paired it with God, I think we're just a little close. <coughs> Got my tea. That's good. I think it's better, right? Better. Okay. Okay. Tea Hi. Tea cup. What happened to your other one that said, okay, this is fine, everything's fine. We're all fine. I've decided fine. that fine. I've decided fine. <laughs> I've decided that whatever coffee mug you go with for the day is just set gonna like tone. set your tone. And I just So what's her tone for tea? Just, day? It's just tea. Fabulously tea. Tea is in Tavia or tea is in tea? Tea is in Tavia. Tavia talk. Tavia talk. And because everything's fine, I don't need to be like, oh, everything's fine, I'm fine, we're all fine. Oh, we were feeling better about our life today? Oh, yeah. Did you share? The anxiety pills have kicked in. Oh, okay. Um, as you know. Yeah. I want an organizational high. <laughs> and Well, why don't you elaborate hmm. a little bit on that? I don't know that there's anything left in my house to organize, but... Well, so last weekend, Tavia called me and... She said that Savannah, her youngest, mm -hmm. uh, was ready to just organize the shit out of the house. Yeah, down. And I'm ready too, babe. Tavia took about 32 trips to the container store. The container store spent a thousand dollars. I don't know how much. And I mean, close. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal for all you craftier folk. There's probably cheaper ways, like Amazon. Yeah. I've never been in the container store. I don't think. Mm. It's heaven. Is it? Heaven on earth for me. Every kind of container you want. Glass, plastic, white lid, black lid, silver lid. Do you think that I, because I really need to organize underneath my stairs because it's kind of just a hodgepodge hot mess mm -hmm. and it's open. So do you think I can find something <clears throat> to kind of. Conceal that? Well, just like organize it a little bit. And, but I don't know. I have like su my suitcases under there, <coughs> like large things. Sorry, it's a tea. It's really hard to I know, talk it's a tea. to you when this is going on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, do you think that I could find some stuff there? Yeah, I do, but your suitcases take up a majority. Right. So then it's like whatever you would put up, you'd have to take down to get your suitcase out. Yeah, see? Can probably. we just put your suitcase somewhere else, like your mom's Where? house? Oh my god, what if I go on some random vacation? That's, you're right, it's not happening anymore. It's not happening. But I used to. You can leave it here. Luke loves when you leave things here. Again, what if I'm going, like, what if I'm going to fly out to Vegas or Nebraska or something for the weekend, like I used to do, and not tell anybody, and then I'm like, oh, I got to go get my suitcase from my mom's house. She's like, what are you getting your suitcase for? Yeah, I would absolutely be like. Yeah, it's like none of your business. <laughs> in order for you to get your suitcase, I would like your itinerary. Yeah. I used to just leave town all the time, just not tell anybody. I didn't know that you would just leave town. Yeah. You wouldn't tell me? Yeah. What? Yeah. Where would you go? I would talk to you every weekend. Yeah. Remember that one time that you called me and I wouldn't tell you where I was going? Was this recently? No, years ago. Yeah, recently. I've gotten on a plane and just left. Where was this? When did it happen? Where did you go? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little... You actually went somewhere? Yeah. But you don't want to tell me. I thought about going to Mexico by myself. Just lay on the beach. Now you have to get a COVID test to return. Well, not now. I'm never going anywhere ever again. Your oh, life seems boring. Yeah, no, 100%. So speaking of, okay, so Jacob and I went to this new bar called 38 last night. Right, Jacob is still in the picture. and Jacob's still in the picture. He seems to be going doing well. Yeah. And we were there last night. By the way, it was freezing. This is So the venue there, it's like this, it's... Huge! It's a tap room. They have thirty-eight type kinds of beer. Luke would probably love it. I was just gonna say, but it's huge. They said that the capacity is seventeen hundred once it's fully open, mm -mm. and then there's an outside. Never again will we go into an establishment with that many people. And then there's an outside. So they had a '90s cover like band thing outside. We were freezing to death. If it wasn't cold, it would have been really, really cool. Did they have heaters? I mean, a couple, but it was so cold last night. It was, it was so, so cold. cold. So anyways, we went inside and we're, we got a table inside and we're talking and I'm just looking around and I'm like, I want to go home. I don't want to be here. Like, I just, I, 
I'm just reclusing into no, my... No, I know. It's a weird thing because I feel the same way. Do you? I do. Like, even when we watch shows now, people are doing stuff or at a party and Luke's like, oh God, COVID, that doesn't happen. We're not doing that ever again. And I do think to myself, I've asked Luke, I'm like, what happens when we get invited to our first like Christmas party yeah. next year with thousands of people? Are we going? Because that seems nerve wracking. Well, it's not even about the COVID for me. It's just like, I don't know. I'm kind of a homebody. I like being at home. I mean, I like being at home too, but... And not... my lifestyle before, it was, I was never at home. Oh, no, he was I just was, like a transient slur. Traveling, going to bars, <laughs> working, like always on the go. And I just feel like this a little bit slower lifestyle pace is... It's for you. I like it. It's for you. Yeah, it's your I do. Okay, yeah. So, I don't know. In dating a 23-year-old, that's probably not going to fly. But, but he doesn't seem like the, like, super going out type. Oh, I think so. He just... Became really? 21 a year ago, two years ago. Hello? That doesn't mean he's not, like, mature. Yeah. Well, I'm over it. And, too, all the money that you spent. I mean, oh, I, I tell spent, you what. I don't know, 40 bucks last night? And I'm like, this is what I used to do all the time? My God. I love that you just said, like, $40. Like, $40? Well, I mean, geez, <laughs> you I'm know, what? I, will... I got two beers and uh, some tacos. I know. Like, I will say, like, the one thing that I don't, like, I'm not excited about is the restaurants opening back up. Not that I don't want them to open, like, by all means, open, because these freaking tents with the propane tank, they're going to kill people. Um, but for a family of four of us to go to dinner, and if Luke gets a beer, easily $75, and then tip, we're at 100 bucks. Yep. We spent a hundred dollars and our kids got a hamburger yep. or grilled chicken or chicken tenders. Yeah. And God only knows what we got and a beer or maybe two beers and we're a hundred dollars. Yep. And it took two and a half hours because I don't know if you've noticed, but like since the pandemic and the restaurants, the service anywhere is awful. Well, first of all, I haven't really gone many places, but second of all, I think I've told you that Jan and Spence mm -hmm. order the check, like, when you order your meal. Because it takes forever. Yeah. Or is that just them? They do, I mean, it, it takes forever. And it, to their point, yes, when you're, like, you're ready to go, you're ready to go. Yeah. But, like... Wait, do they really? Yeah, 100%. So, r walk me through this. I'm the server. Hi! I'm TV. I'm going to take your order. Okay, yeah, yeah, So we we'll yeah. get drinks, yeah, mm -hmm. and then they'll come back and get the food, we'll order the food, and then when they come back to check on us, they'll be like, can we get the check? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. And they just want to know if you cut into your steak. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. What happens if you want dessert or more drinks? Reopen the check? I don't know. I, like, they just, they're just, they don't, they they don't are... want to sit there. They don't want to sit there. Which, I get it, like. I hate that when you're done with We're your done. meal. We're done. You're done. You're Let's sitting go. there, and then the server, like, never comes over, and you're like, oh, my God, can you just come over? Yeah. I want my check. So we were at Lazy Dog, and our server, first of all, hated his life. Hated being there. Okay. Hated everything about everything. He had one pace. And if you ask Savannah, she describes it so funny. She goes, he moves like this. Okay, you're going to have to describe that. <laughs> I, you have to describe it. I don't know how to describe this. A very slow, slow motion. Slow motion. Like, he never stopped. He just walked the restaurant in, like, this steady speed. And then I'd be like, can I get some soy sauce? And he would take off on his sonder. <laughs> and, like, he'd come back with, like, a drink. I'm like, don't forget the soy sauce. <laughs> and he would take off on the sonder. And then, like, he came back, like, before we even ordered our food, he came with, like, drinks. And we're like, okay, we're ready to order. He's like, all right, let me check on these people. And he took off on his saunter. I was like, no, get the <laughs> back here. I, I swear. And the girls were like, can he go any slower? And I'm like, any, any slower. And then finally we got our bill and I was like, I was like, Luke, get that credit card out. Like Luke likes to read the bill. Mm -hmm. I was like, Probably no. smart. I know. But with this guy, like he went to set it down and I was like, here's the card. Yeah, like just right. take it and keep on your track. Because he was like the little... The little engine that could. Right. Like, he just like... Was it that he didn't care, or he just... It could have been a combination of just, like, life sucks, maybe he was high. Oh. Like, he just... <laughs> like That's probably how you have to go into serving. You just gotta go blaze, and just, like, not He care. just... Yeah, and he'd be like, alright. Yeah. And I'm like, 
Have you ever been a server? Never. I haven't either. I don't, I wouldn't be good at it because I would be like. I feel like the, some portions of it I would be really good because I'm very organized and I can like, I could get it done. Yeah. Like but if I somebody asked for soy sauce, what yeah. would you do? I'd be like, I'd get that while I'm getting my drinks. Boom, boom, boom. Like drop the soy. Yes, my yes, drinks. yes, like, yes. I would yes, be very yeah. organized with it. I could do that. But as far as dealing with the people. Mm -hmm, like my order sometimes. Your order, like it would just. So is your blue cheese thick and chunky? Right, and yeah. Creamy right, like ranch. Right. And then they'll be like, oh, creamy like ranch. I'm like, mm, wrong answer. Right. <laughs> I don't want that. And then TV ends up with six different dressings, dressings yeah. to try them. Or on. then you've got Luke Galvin who's like, I'll take your gourmet cheeseburger, but with only cheese and lettuce. And I'm like, it had pickles. It had special sauce. It has like. Luke, don't order the gourmet. I kind of get that. Tracked everything. Just order a kids cheeseburger. <laughs> kids cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> and inevitably, because Luke makes so many substitutions, mm, it gets messed up. Always, and he's irritated. I'm like, well, yeah, really, right? Yeah. So I scoop my olives to the side. Right. Yeah. I guess you just take off whatever you don't want. Right. But if an onion, oh, the flavor just like. Imp he eats all of his, food. you know, Luke Galvin. I get the same way with ketchup. I don't really like. Typically, oh, don't like it. Usually, like. I mean, if you scrape it off, it's still, like, all soaked in the burger. Ew, do you not like ketchup? I don't like ketchup. So, you know what the thing is? I don't really like ketchup either. But I'll eat ketchup on a burger. But you know, like, people that will dip everything in ketchup? Janelle. Oh! She puts it on her hash browns. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I think I've got a thing with ketchup, because when I worked at the daycare, we had to put on gloves. What daycare did you work at? Uh, I worked at Kids Shore in college at Lifetime, oh. which was Lakeshore. Okay. Athletic club. But anyways, I took my CPR class. We had to put on gloves, which is now like a normal thing to wear. Yeah. And they squirt ketchup on our hands. Ew. And we had to do this. Ew, and why? So you had to get the gloves off without any of the blood to touch your skin. How did you do? I did fine. I, but like the smell of latex and then you rub the ketchup. I was like... <sighs> Like gonna throw up, and you have to like, you have to like, get a pinch, <laughs> flop it. In. It's like I was a pro by the time I got to poopy diapers. Like I can get a diarrhea diaper off in two seconds flat. I am just loving your nail color right now. Thank you. It's like it's almost like an ombre, kind of. It kind it's like of a tealy. Is. It's like a baby blue tealy. Yeah, it's like darker on the tip. Yeah, and like lighter down here. I'm loving it. Oh, thank you. I think yeah, I did my great. toes too. But not blue. What did we do? Just like a fun little. Oh, and it's I, like a I dark, fucked, uh, kind of burgundy pink. I fucked that one up already. Oh, okay. Hate when that happens. Yeah. So, anyways, um, I think I mentioned that I was supposed to be going to Mexico. Uh, did you? I don't know. I don't know. I can't. Re I can't remember. I can never I recall what I allow people to know about me <laughs> on this very open podcast. Um, I'm not going to Mexico anymore because. Well, I'll tell them the full story of what's going on. Well, we're supposed to go to Mexico with a family, like with friends. And then the CDC put out something that now you have to get a COVID test to return. And it was just like a layered onion. Like what happens if one of the kids gets like a false positive? Right. Yeah. And we're stuck in Mexico for 14 more days. And you know, you're not just stuck in Mexico for 14 days out on the beach. They're right. probably making you stay right. in your hotel room right, yeah. for 14 days. Right. And then it's like, okay, so now we're going to take a taxi somewhere in the midst of Cancun to find the place that's going to shove a COVID test up my nose. Right, yeah. Wait, you guys looked into it though, right? We did. And we, we found the places, but there was going to be like $200 a test. I mean, that's a lot with a family of four. Yeah. And then it's like, it, that's just the test. Are you going to get some weird doctor's fee to read the test? Right, yeah. yeah. And how do we pay for that? Like, it's not like insurance pays for any of that. Right, yeah. God forbid you get <clears throat> sick. And you have to go to the hospital. So what were the what were the rules for? You have to get the COVID test. Is it like seventy two hours before your flight, or what were the rules? No, on that? like they had like a calculator, like tell us what day you're departing, and we'll tell you what day you have to have it done by uh, in order to get it in time. And you're like, I'd rather be like land test, have my whole trip because what happens if you get it on Thursday and you don't get it back in time? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd rather do that. So, anyways, it was just too much of a hiccup, and so now we're just gonna go to Arizona. Okay, where are you guys going in Arizona? Scottsdale. Okay. I'll show you the place. It looks really cute. Yeah? And then I got to order some pool floaties. I was thinking like the unicorn. The kids will love that. Like the ones that... Janelle has. No, I ordered them. I ordered all the pool floaties. Oh, did you just leave them down there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because we weren't driving back with floaties. Oh, are they expensive? 
Uh, I mean, I probably spent $100 on floaties, but I got a beer pong floaty. So we went down to Arizona. I, a beer pong floaty? Less. Last fall. Beer pong floaty? Beer pong floaty. So it was a floaty and then it also had cups so you could play beer pong in the pool. Yeah, it's COVID. We don't play beer pong. And then, well, I was with my two besties. Okay. And then we got a huge unicorn and then a dinosaur. The dinosaur is the, the best. Because okay. you get to lay on the head and then like flop your feet back. Oh my God, it was divine. I would go lay out there in the sun every day. Okay, so I've got four kids. We're really five kids. Yeah. And How big is the pool? Does it look pretty big? I mean, it's so hard to tell because do they use the fish eye when they take the picture? <laughs> Probably. Like, just like every wedding photographer out there always gets the one bridesmaid on the end when they do the fish eye and your arm looks like an <laughs> elephant trunk and you're like, hate that photographer. Well, why I ask is because the floaties that I got were quite large and we had a huge pool, so thank God, but if you get too big of a floaty, it's not going to work. Oh. Um... I mean, they're huge floaties. Yeah, I probably need to get like a couple because the kids are gonna wanna splash all, around. Yeah, and, and all share them. Right. Not very well. Maybe I'm some sure. like uh maybe some like well you probably can't take noodles on the plane. Like how are we gonna pack that? Are you gonna pack like a thing of pool floaties? Or I'm gonna do an Amazon order to the house. Oh. That could work. Yeah. Just Amazon it, press send on like Saturday. Like, yeah, because when you leave. Fr Sunday. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that if I work. did like, if I did like two days or next day or whatever, then it would maybe arrive on Sunday. Yeah. Or I'd get there Monday. Yeah. And then we'd have our floaties. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. They yeah. have some cool stuff. Like if your pool's really big, they have like a four person, like for the little kitties, it's like four person one and they can like do stuff in it. There's mm. options. Okay. So anyways, we're not going to Mexico, but we are going to Arizona. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Did you just knock over the camera? Mm, I think we look okay. Okay, I think we're a little lopsided, but it's fine. It's okay. So anyways, that's what to do with me. Not really very much. Work-wise, I have to do, like start doing a work podcast. What? Yeah. You didn't I don't, tell me about this. I know, it just happened. I don't know, like every two Give weeks. Give me the details. What's going on? Who's Who's... Doing this. What's going on? Who's telling you to Nick, do this? Nikki's idea. Okay, so the whole team's doing it together. Well, but it's one on one. It's one on one. With her? Yeah, so like everybody's going to take a different week, a different shift. And it's going to be every two weeks. So Lisa goes first, then Aaron. I think I'm the end of February. Okay. Is mine. Okay. And she wanted me to pick my topic. And I was like, uh. Oh, so you're bringing the topic to her. Yeah, I was you like. You can't just let it free flow. No. <laughs> I was like... How long is it? I don't know, like 20 minutes maybe. Okay, yeah. I was like, um... Where is she posting this? Is it everywhere? I guess. You know I don't even know how to find a podcast. Did she... Where did she get this idea from? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody goes... I think Aaron was like, well, what do you and Colin talk about? I was like, nothing appropriate. That's, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not work, work related. Appropriate. No. Mm -hmm. um, no. So... Well, that's exciting. Yeah, I guess. So I think I told her to pick. And she goes, okay, five things sellers should know. I was like, oh, great. I'll just call Colin. We'll get this all figured out. What? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it all figured out. But Lisa's doing, she's doing a recap from the economic summit. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so there was this economic summit. I was summit. like, that's the worst. So I don't want that one. So there was this economic one. summit with this really smart, I forget his name, it's something, Eidenberg? This really smart, uh... Guy, yeah. He always wears a bow tie. It was smart, like, forecaster, economic forecaster. He's really funny. Yeah. Anyway, so it was on Zoom. There were, like, 600 people on here. Apparently, Tavia's co-worker, Lisa, was on the call, and she was telling her about the, the, what he was saying, and she was telling me what Lisa was saying, and I was like, no, I don't think that's what he meant. Yeah. So <laughs> there's like, I don't think that's right. So there's conflicting stories. It's funny. It's like last night at the happy hour, um, Andrew and Lisa are like, well, we want to listen to your podcast. I was like, no. And Lisa's like, <laughs> <laughs> Lisa goes, why do you talk about me? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Oh so maybe God, we'll funny. send her this link so she can listen to us talk about her. But anyways, there's conflicting information. But good news is they're going to iron it out in the first episode. And I was so like... you're going to be smooth as butter when you go on. Oh, yeah. I was like, I don't I don't think I would ever want that topic. And I just looked at Lisa like, did you, did you choose that topic? Did she? I have no idea. That sounds like 
the worst topic. Okay, wait. So you're th five things that sellers want to know. What five things sellers. What are you sellers... looking at my chin for? What's going I know, on? No, I was looking at your mouth when you talk. I always look at your mouth when you talk. I don't think that's accurate, but okay. Okay. We'll roll the footage back and we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so five, five things. things sellers should know going into this market, maybe? Something into like what? That. The spring market? Or yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Okay, well, let's brainstorm. So, five things that sellers should know. Wait, are we going to give away all my stuff for my podcast? Oh, well, I don't think it's the same the same pool. Do you? No. Is there, do you think there's cross pollination? <laughs> You guys, everybody log into my other podcast. You don't even know what it is, where it is or what it's called. What is it called? Why don't you give it a little shout out? I don't know. So what you can maybe it's the raw and the real. That's the what she always calls those other ones we do. Oh, the Facebook Live things. Yeah, maybe that raw and the real. I like that. Yeah, because we're raw and we're real. Okay, five. Do things I? Oh, so I, I knocked it. Do I have an eyelash in my contact? Because come closer. It feels like I do. No. Why are you so far away? Because I, I can't look in your eye when, when, like this. <laughs> we almost kissed. <laughs> Not by my choice. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, five things that sellers so need to know in this market. Is this my practice? Yeah. Okay, well, Okay, yeah, I'm Nikki. No, <laughs> I want to brainstorm. <laughs> um, okay, one, you... Does my hair look good today? Yeah, it looks really good. I told you that earlier. Speaking of hair, oh, we can't talk about that. What? Sam. Oh. Fall over that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Sam's getting... Oh, never mind. <laughs> we can't talk about it. Maybe next week. We yeah! Sam's got like... We had lunch with Sam on Monday. We should have done the podcast then. Yeah. Her special she, guest. Yeah, she does have like some things going on though. Yeah, she's moving and shaking. We should fill you guys in. Next week. Next week. To be, to be continued. To be continued. <laughs> okay. Five things sellers should know. Okay, one, I one. think your house is going to sell very quickly. Yeah. But do not overprice it. Do not overprice it. And right. don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Because it'll bite you in the butt. Do, have you not seen that in your career that people get greedy and then so it comes greedy. to bite them back? Bites in them. The butt. And then every other offer they have is like, nope. Yeah. And then they get a worse offer. Mm hmm. Yeah. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Just get what you get. Don't um, throw a fit. Don't, I would probably say sellers in this market, like, to just plan to not just go somewhere over the weekend. Because, like, there's going to be so many oh, showings. So many showings. You, you're not going to be able to get in your house. Yeah, just be away. And when you come back, it, your house is probably going to be a disaster. Do just, you want to do this podcast? No, I do not. Hmm. That's why we're brainstorming right now to give you some ideas. I'm going to have to rewatch this footage. What else? Uh, should sellers What know. minute are we at so I can find this quickly? Uh, 23. Oh, good. So towards the tail end, I'll be able to reference. 23 okay. minutes, yeah. Um, what else should sellers know? Sellers should know that Buyers are still asking for stuff. They're, oh, you don't think so? No. All my buyers are. What are they asking for? Like, in, like, inspection items. Oh, really? Yes. You're getting offers accepted with not waiving inspections. I have been. Wow. I know. We do tell them we're not going to be picky, but... I, I, well, I haven't written a buyer contract in a while. There hasn't been a builder contract. So, but I was I showing I last some weekend. <laughs> I was showing last weekend and I was floored at the activity. I mean, there was like a line of people waiting to get in each house. At the builder's house? Oh. No. You know what? Lisa said the same thing. She said it was like 2017. It was crazy. She said it was the 2017 market where like you'd stand outside and wait. Yeah. And I was like, so... And I showed four or five houses, and it was all, it was like that every single So time. I'm like, what, what happened to our time slots? Those just gone, and everybody's just like, F it? Well, I think that you have a 30-minute time slot. I don't know. Lisa said everybody that she showed, all the agents, had the same time slot. Really? They, yep, they didn't, they didn't, they overlapped everybody. Huh. So I don't know if that was like a showing problem. Maybe they just wanted them in, like, from like 12 to 3, and then just be done with it. Maybe. Be flexible. That's one thing that... Be flexible. Do not do not restrict your, your showing times from 3 to 4 in the afternoon. You yeah. gotta be flexible if you want to sell your house. Listen, you gotta, if you're homeschooling your child, maybe this isn't the right time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do not stay in the house. Do not stay in the house. It makes the buyers feel so uncomfortable. Yeah. It's awful. Don't show up for inspection. And God forbid, don't tell them all the little problems with the house that you didn't want to fix. Yeah. I got one of those. Did you? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, whoever buys this house is going to have a 
they're gonna have a problem on their hands when they have to try to get in this ceiling. And I was like, well, let's not say that. How about that? Yeah. Wait, so this is your buyer that came through? No, it was my seller. Oh. And I'm like, what problems? He's like, well, it's just a pain on the ass. And I'm like, don't make it sound like it's worse than it is, for God's sakes. Yeah. Anyways. Well, that wraps up our time for today. How does it go so like fast? a therapy session? Or is this... I love therapy. So, oh, really quickly, because we go to therapy with O, we had to talk about what our, like, our happy animal is and our angry animal. Like, she had figurines, just okay. really quickly. Wait, did you guys have to do this too, or did... Yeah, she... no, Luke and I did it with her. Okay. So you had to pick, like, your happy figurine and your angry figurine. So Luke picked a dolphin... For his happy figurine. I mean, I can see that, yeah. And then he picked a porcupine for his angry. Okay. And so he said his dolphin doesn't, like, jump out of the waves, but he just kind of, like, floats along the current. I'm like, okay. okay. And his porcupine will put up his porcupines as his a defense. Mm -hmm. And then, like, it takes a lot for him to shoot out his little quills. I don't think they shoot. Yeah, porcupines will shoot their things at you. I don't think so. Fact check it. We will. Olivia picked some weird little... Um, not like, weird. No, not weird. It was like a little Nickelodeon character. She called it Tiger's Butt for her happy one. It was like <laughs> okay. a little tiger. And then she picked a shark. For her angry? Mm-hmm. Oh. And then she made her water like really rocky, like with the kinetic sand. And she said that when she's her shark, she feels like she's swimming out of control and just wants to bite things. And I was like, oh my God. Wow, that's that's that a, really a really good really... way for her to express mm -hmm. the way that she feels. Right. So I picked Buddha. Wait, no, what did oh. the therapist say about? Like, what did she say in relation to that? That was a, an excellent way to describe. But she didn't say, like, okay, this is how we... Well, yeah, we did, but we had to kind of go through everybody's things. Oh, okay, okay, what did you And think? so I have Buddha... We, got, we only have a couple okay. minutes before we run out of tape. I had Buddha <clears throat> on a mountain for my calm piece. Okay. And then I had... That's not an animal. Well, it was figurines. Oh, okay. And then I, I picked the, the lion that was... Yeah. And I split the earth and there was like a canyon and it was straddling the canyon. Oh. And so Olivia and I are clearly like the same yeah. tumultuous land. Right. Um, so we just talked a lot about that. So yeah. Savannah wasn't there, but she got to, she apparently picked her animals last night and she what said she's a, she told Luke she's a koala, but <gasps> she told me. Oh, she is a little koala. Or that she told me she picked a sloth. So I'm like, so which one? <laughs> a cloth? Uh, and then she said when she's mad, she's a hyena. And I was like, that's accurate, because she <laughs> screams at you. Yeah. Screams. So anyways, those are our people, and maybe you should pick your angry and sads. What, what brought this on? What made you think of this? I don't know. Maybe because we're like, we're in like therapy. Oh, therapy. therapy. Okay. All that's right. Well, anyways, okay. that's how the cookie crumbles. And if you want to know how to figure out who you are, pick your happy and sad characters. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Subscribe. We upload every Tuesday at 6 a.m. Uh, 5.59. iTunes, Spotify. We're all over the place. All I over still the place. can't figure out Instagram, but we'll get there at some, some point. We're just on YouTube and podcasts now. So How can anyway. I figure out? I think it's just IGTV. Okay, you can go ahead and figure that out. Oh, no. I don't all right, time. we'll check you on the next one. Thank you.